Hi, this is Caleb with App Design Tips, and I'm going to show you how you can import some images. Now, if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that bell so you can be notified of future tutorials. Now that we're ready to add some images to this product page, we're really going to see this page come to life. So, first thing that we can do is we can jump over to our Assets folder. And we have a few images here that we can just drag and drop inside our project. And so the first thing that we're going to do is just click on this product image file. And we can just drag and drop this inside this uh, boxed area. And what we can see here is the Adobe XD automatically imports this as a fit to fill inside this square. And so even though we want this to be a square, what we're going to have to do if we want to see the full frame is I'm going to hold down Option here and we'll just squeeze this down so that we can actually see the full body here. And I'm going to remove this border. And so even though the area of this image is going to be a square, Adobe doesn't give me this scale to fit option. And so to kind of bypass that, I just have to turn this into a rectangle and make sure that she fits around this area. And now I can jump back over to my assets files and I will just click on each one of these holding down command. So I have these four images here. And so something really neat happens here when I drag this over this box right here is because this is a repeat grid, no matter where I drop this, it will add the other images in the other boxes. So it makes it really nice. And we're going to do the same thing here. So I'm just going to hold down Option. We're going to scale this down so that we can see this a little bit better. And one thing that makes it really nice is all of the images are scaling on this repeat grid. So it just makes so I don't have to duplicate my work for each image, makes it really nice. Now the last image that I'm going to add is the logo right here. So I'm going to jump back into Finder. And if we go to our Assets folder again, I can find this Gen X logo. So if I drag and drop this, I have to be careful this time not to drag it over any of these squares. Um, I can just drag it over into this open area. And what that'll do is it'll just import the actual image itself. And that's a little bit smarter for me this time so that I can just delete this rectangle here and just place this here. And now I have the flexibility to just change the height here. And I'll change this to 80. And now if I hold down Shift, I can just align this in the middle and the center. And now that I see this logo, I think there's a little bit too much red here. So I'm just going to change these back to white really quickly. I think that looks a little bit better. And one thing we forgot to do when we added these images is add some title for these products. So we can just go in here and type each title here. So flower dress, for example, and here pencil skirt. Or if we have a text file with these products already populated, we can go into our assets folder here and we can see this product titles file. And I'm just going to open this up to show you what it looks like. Here we have text that's broken down by the return key. So every new line is just a new body of text. So if I close this and I just drag and drop this inside this repeat grid over this flower dress, it will add this based off of every line that's broken down. It'll add this as a new product here. So now we'll just make these all $5. Great deal. And we're done.